What's up everybody? Welcome to today's video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. We've got our Super Bowl championship for our online CFM. We got RC representing the Baltimore Ravens. We got Mason representing the Los Angeles Rams. It's going to be really excited. This game is for $100 cash. Winner of this game wins the CFM for season one. Season two is going to be starting up in a couple of days. Really excited to cast this game, though. We're going to see what Mason and RC bring to the table. So we're going to jump right in here. But really quickly, if you guys hear me engaging at all, I'm actually broadcasting this live on my YouTube channel. We stream every single night at... 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Come by, hang out with the stream. We're going to jump right into this game right now. All right, so looks like RC is going to be getting the ball first in this matchup. What's up, Connor? What's up, Darren? What's up, Steve? How you guys doing in the chat? And we know that Con or, uh, or not, or not Connor, I'm sorry, RC. Now, we know that RC is going to be running the New England Patriots ebook. It's an ebook that I wrote uh, and basically what it is, it's the best offense in the game. I mean, there's literally nothing else I can say other than the fact that it's truly the best offense in the game. And so if you want to pick up that ebook, you can pick it up in the description of this video. It'll be interesting to see how RC does. We know that Mason has a really, really strong uh, defense, and the NFC division was really, really tough. The top three teams was myself, Mason, and Yashi. All of us went 15-1. and one. And Mason uh, had a little bit of a nail biter game against Yashi to get to this uh, to get to the Super Bowl. And honestly, RC had kind of a relatively smooth sailing road. Um, had a little bit of a come from behind victory, but he's going to get started out here quick with a nice little quick pass to Zeke Elliott. Brings up a second down and six ball in twenty nine yard line. He's going to play fast. And RC looks like he's going to go with some no huddle offense. Got DeAndre Hopkins in the slot right here, um, and it'll be interesting to see kind of what he does. So a little trips tied in. He's going to take his hitch route, and Marquise Goodwin's going to advance. Now, what you want to see from RC, if we remember back for the AFC Championship game, RC fumbled the ball twice. So I'd like to see him play on conservative. Uh, obviously, Mason's going to be looking to get those turnovers of those big hitters and going right to the halfback counter. In my opinion, one of the best runs that nobody runs from trips tied in, as you see right there. Very, very good run. Connor Morris chimes in in the chat, says his boy Mason is going to win this game. You heard it here first. In the first quarter, he's already predicting a Mason and Los Angeles Rams victory in the Super Bowl. And here, going another quick pass, another simple read for my man, RC. It looks like RC is going to want to air the ball out. Sick of this trips tight end. In my opinion, trips tight end is the most dominating formation in the game. And the beauty of the New England Patriots playbook is that you get trips tight end, you get gun bunch, you get gun spreads, you get gun a slot offset, split close. And to cap it all off, you get gun wide off trips pass, pats, which has the best cover three beater in Madden 21. And we know that Mason likes to run a lot of cover three, so it'll be interesting to see if RC goes to that um, down the stretch of this ball game. It looks like he's going to start out here with a little power O out of the single back doubles. Love that audible down. Um, just going to kind of keep it really easy. He's going to bring up a first down. And right now, RC is looking really good on this drive. RC is looking really, really, really nice here. Um, just simply working the ball up and down the field. Not trying to do anything too crazy. We know Mason has to play this little bend but don't break style of defense. And looks like RC is going to hit his bubble screen. He's got about 15 yards. DeAndre Hopkins in the open field. Going to bring him a first down and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. And right now, RC is looking really, really, really good. I love that he puts his, puts his ball carry on conservative. Don't want to make any mistakes here. You're in scoring range. You're going to be able to get three points. Worst thing that can happen is he throws a pick or takes a sack. Almost takes a sack right there. Got to throw out a sack animation. Got to be careful with those throw out of sacks, especially when you get yourself in scoring position like he was right here. So uh, we got second down and 10, ball on the 34-yard line. Going to go back to that counter run that was so good for him. Oh, he probably missed a little bit of a cut, had that outside gap open. And this is going to bring down a critical third down and five, ball on the 29-yard line. Three minutes left to go in the first half or first quarter. Going to that RPO bubble, and Mason stuffs the run. Now, if you're RC, in my opinion, you've got to take your three. I know the temptation to go for it in this situation, but I would like to see him take his three. And honestly, our, our, uh, Mason, just made, his guy made a play on that inside zone. It's probably the right call um, or the right read. But uh, Mason makes a good stop here. Now, this is going to be really fascinating. We know that RC's best piece of his his football game is his offense and i believe for mason i think mason's best part is his defense so we got to got strength against strength but we also got mason who has a really really good offense and rc's defense is i would say it's average i wouldn't say it's like too crazy crazy good so i'll be interested to see kind of what we see here we saw that rc gave up a lot of points in his 
AFC Championship game to my man Unrated, uh, who's in the chat. So it will be interesting to see what Mason does here. We know Mason likes to run a lot of strong close, bunch tight end, and gun bunch. Now, ironically, I actually ran a lot of trips tight end as well. So I think Mason might be in the um, Las Vegas book. I'm not sure exactly what he's running on offense. I'm pretty sure it's says Las Vegas, but it's going to go strong close here. And it looks like Mason's going to go with a little bit of a ball control style offense. Probably going to run the ball here. We'll see what he does. And he is going to hand off inside zone. Giovanni Bernard into the open space and pops off a 15-yard run right on the opening uh, right on the opening snap there for Mason's offense. If Mason can get out to a lead, I really believe his defense is tough to consistently convert on um, for touchdowns. So it'll be interesting to see kind of how this goes right here. But RC... Coming out and a little play action cross play for Mason. Stepping up in the pocket with Rodgers. Going to get busy. And you know Mason, this is interesting. The way Mason plays football, uh, at least the way he plays Madden, you're going to see him try to go for the big play over the top a lot. And if he doesn't hit the big play, Mason's okay with just throwing it away, running, that, running it out with the quarterback. You're not going to really see Mason take, take a ton of checkdowns. What Mason really wants to do, try to hit you deep. If he can't hit you deep, he'll throw it away and try it again the next play. So it'll be interesting to see with this cover three invert um, that RC's running a little cover four invert style of ball. And RC marks him right off the rip. Oh my gosh, that's a huge play. RC with a big turnover. Jimmy Ward with the user pick. That is absolutely huge in this game. If RC can go down and get seven points, that is a big defensive stand up. As I've criticized RC's defense, you see the cover three invert, or the cover four invert, I'm sorry, from the three, four odd cover four drop. Show up for him big here. Going to go to 0-1 trap out of the eight slot offset. In my opinion, one of the best shotgun runs in the entire game. And picks up a quick nine yards. Going to bring up a first down and 10 ball on the 46-yard line. Gun trips tight end for RC. Big nickel over G for Mason. Second down and one with a minute 20 to go. Let's see what Mason dials up right here. He had the bubble screen right there. Didn't want to force it. End up taking a little inside zone to Zeke Elliott. It'll be interesting to see if he goes back to that on third and one. you got to think Mason's going to be ready for that bubble screen right here. be interesting to see. He does take his bubble screen, gets it to Hopkins, and Hopkins is going to roll to the first down, bringing up a – oh, he got it. Great play by DeAndre Hopkins, rolling forward for that first down. Absolutely huge in this game. That's huge, 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 huge. Now, it looks like RC is going to go to a little gun bunch. I don't necessarily love this route combo on the left side. Let's see what he does. Does go ahead and turn him into an out route. Watch for the cover three beater on the left side here. Mason does a great job using it. RC does a smart thing right there and simply throws the ball away to be able to keep that second down and 10 down in distance. I like that RC is going back into the trips tight end in this situation. He's got the ball on the 48-yard line. Really what RC has to do, in my opinion right here, field goal is great right field goes great you really want to get seven really want to get seven here give yourself a two possession lead and it looks like rc is going to throw the crossing route and mason is ready for that user pick and we got a little bit of a defensive battle here in the super bowl rc bagged right there by my man mason great great job on the deep zone i'll be interested to look back at the replay and kind of see what mason was thinking what mason was doing when i recap this game but very 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 good cover four invert for my man rc mason's going to get back to that power running game take his quick little yards there with giovanni bernard a little scat back kind of revitalized giovanni bernard's career to be quite honest with you um, brings up a second down of five. That's going to be the first quarter. Basically, my takeaway in the first quarter is I feel like both competitors going back and forth a little bit. You're seeing Mason play a lot of bend but don't break um, style of defense. It'll be interesting to see here now that Mason's going to trip side in what he's going to bring out. But trip side here, second and five. First play of the second quarter. Let's see what Mason has cooked up. Going to go to the inside zone. The 3 4 odd says no, sir. And RC brings up a third down and five. Ball on the 33 yard line. It looks like going to make some adjustments here, but primarily, let's see, he's going to go to that dollar three two six style defense. It's going to go a little bit of a max coverage. It's kind of a setup, um, and honestly, I'm a little bit nervous for him. He's going to run man coverage here on third and five. I don't know about this. I think he's trusting his user over the middle of the field. You got to be trusting that right there. If you're Mason, this will be interesting to see what he does. Going to motion over the receiver on the right side. Looks like he's got a man beater there, a little slant route, a little drag concept, got the spy. Everything's bagged. I need RC to spin, send the spy, send the spy. And Mason, he didn't send the spy early enough, and Mason finds a late laser over the middle of the field. That's why I don't really like max coverage in that situation. Third and five, I really want to see RC kind of 
force the issue a little bit. Now Mason's going to go back to the inside zone. Great call by Mason. You see dollar three two six. You run inside zone until the cows come home. Very very good decision making there by my man Mason. Brings up a second down and six. Ball on the forty five yard forty four yard line. Left hash. About four minutes left to go in the second quarter. Looks like man coverage from RC. Going to try to shift over now. Oh, he hits it with his own medicine, but RC is ready for it. No HP counter is going to beat my man RC. And that's going to bring him another third down. Third down and four. These are critical moments. These are the big plays. This is where I feel like you want to send some pressure. You want to kind of force the issue a little bit. Be interested to see what Mason calls here. You see RC going back with that man-to-man -man coverage, that meta-man-to-man -man coverage. Got two purples on the outside. Got his user in the middle of the field. Sending three people at him and going to say, make a read. Make a read. Everything's bagged on this. Got the drag route, but he has that hard flat there. Able to come up and make a play. So that's going to bring up a fourth and one. Ball on the 39-yard line. I don't think Mason's going to take a field goal here. He's probably going to go for this. Kind of in a no-man's land. He is going to try to attempt a field goal. you got to believe that Mason, this is a big-time field goal. And this is Brett Maher, the former quarterback, former kicker for the Dallas Cowboys. One of the best kickers, in my opinion, in NFL history. Tries to kick this, but it looks like, and he does convert it. That's what he talked about. He said, get a kicker with a strong leg. Brett Maher, great leg right there. And Mason's able to get three on the board, tie this ball game up. And now all the pressure shifts back to RC. But if you're if you're RC, you're in a pretty good position here. You could go down, get seven points going into halftime. Now, you, everybody knows in the chat, Mason gets ball at halftime. It's a big, big drive right here. It looks like RC is going to go back to that cover three bomb out of the gun bunch. Um, and what I'd like to see is I'd like to see him motion that outside wheel route outside and then motion him a little bit more to get a little bit better of a snap throw. And that's just not going to work against my man Mason. You can't you can't drift in the pocket so much. Got to step up in the pocket. My man Harold Landry has edge threat elite, I believe. And Mason is definitely going to allow Harold to absolutely eat. So brings up a second and 21, 01 trap for my man, getting some yardage back, gonna get himself in a good third down position. I actually love that call right there. Just take the simple things. Now, one of the things that's actually interesting to note as we head into the two minute warning here is RC, that 01 trap has yet to be stopped for less than five to six yards. Be interesting to see if he kind of starts to almost go to that consistently um, against this defense, especially with the way that Mason's playing it. But right here, RC is going to go to one of his favorite setups out of PA counter go. I actually love this. Basically a dagger concept um, coming over the middle of the field. And the only problem is Mason's edge threat goes crazy. Once again, Harold Landry putting the team on his back. Fourth and 26. And now all of the momentum has shifted to Mason's side of the football because Mason's coming out of half. Mason's getting the ball back with two minutes and three timeouts. Got an opportunity to go down. Get a one possession lead, whether it be a field goal or a touchdown, and then you'll see that Mason's going to come out in half and could it potentially double up. This is where the game can kind of get out of hand. This is a very, very big possession for RC's defense, and he punts it right to him. Not a great decision, in my opinion. I, I would like to see him punt him to the outside, uh, just out of bounds. But we'll see what he goes to here. Dollar three two six, and he's going to go to. Let's see. Mason's coming out in strong close. RC's pick, taking a, quite a bit of time to pick his defense. And going to go back to that cover four drop style of defense here. Mason, you got to believe, is going to run halfback dive. I don't think you're going to see Mason pass much out of this. It's kind of a straight up, I'm going to run halfback dive on first down every play, get a couple yards, see if I can break one. And he certainly did right there. That's a huge play. Now, RC's job, RC's job on defense. Hear me, hear me out right now. His job on defense is to... Force Mason to take a field goal. If Mason scores a touchdown on this drive, it is a bad, 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 bad deal. So if I'm in RC shoes, I'm not. I'm okay with him getting a field goal. I cannot give up a touchdown. That's what you got to be going through your head. So if he wants to run HP dive every play, and to be honest, Mason's a very conservative player. Mason might just do that. Mason might be completely content with just taking his field goal, getting the ball out of half, coming out, going down, getting seven, putting himself up by two possessions. I could definitely see Mason doing that. Got about 56 seconds on the clock here. Now, one of the things that's interesting is, ooh, RC calls a timeout on third and inches. Oh, not sure if I agree with that one. And Mason's going to come out with trip side in. Now, Mason has complete control. Great clock management by him, to be honest. Um, he's going to go to gun trip side in here. It doesn't look like Mason's going to force anything. But be interested to see what he calls here. Does go to an inside zone. I actually love that call. And he he might be out. And RC doesn't click on. 
Ooh, this is gonna bring up a this is gonna bring up a red zone situation for Mason. This is actually a really a really good position for uh, Mason to be in right here. You got three timeouts. You're gonna run the ball three times. If you don't get it, you take a field goal. Pretty much what's about to happen. RC calling that timeout really was not a good decision. Uh, but he does stop the run here. Does stand up for himself. Timeout should be a timeout for Mason. He's gonna let the clock run here. Mason probably just wants to run some more clock off before he calls um, before he calls a timeout. Man, second and goal. So a good matchup here. We're actually going to start season two up here in a little bit as well. So if you're interested, shoot me a text message. My number is in the description or if you're in the chat, exclamation point text. Looks like RC is going to a little cover three Mabel. Cover three inverted Mabel here uh, on second and goal. A little stretch from Mason. That's not going to be there. And now this is where you'll probably see Mason start to just say, okay, I'm going to take my three points. And Mason's a very, very, very conservative player at least from what I've seen. He trusts his defense, which I think is smart. I think Mason's probably got uh, one of the better defenses that I've seen so far this year that I've played. Uh, just does a good job of usering and does a good job of taking away a lot of the big plays, forcing you to kind of take your underneath. With RC, one of the adjustments that he's going to have to make, this was my biggest concern and my thing to watch out for in this game, was would he be willing to take his underneath? Now, be interested to see if Mason passes. He looks like he's going to go to just inside zone, and he almost got it. He almost got it. Ooh, man. He has so far run HB dive every single play out of strong close. Every time he goes to strong close, it's been a halfback dive literally every single time. So if you're RC, you've got to be expecting halfback dive whenever he goes to strong close. It looks like Mason's going to pass on a bunch of trips, and then he's going to run HB dive out of strong close um, pretty much every time on first down. So uh, ball control style offense here for Mason is 6-3 to three in the Super Bowl right now. And again, things to watch out for here. Ma this is a huge down in the game. Mason gets the ball. You know that Mason is going to come out, and he's going to try to clock the game. Literally, I wouldn't be surprised if you see Mason have two clock on as soon as he comes out here. Mason wants to get out of here in a 10-3, a 13-3 type of ball game. RC wants to be a, like a 35 to, to 50 ball game. RC wants to pass the ball, wants to have big plays here and there. So because of that, Mason right now is in full control of this game. RC's got to stand up for himself. He's got to get a stop. This is a critical, critical drive. Now it looks like Mason's going to go to PA cross. That deep post route's not there. Nothing's open. He's probably going to throw this away. And yes, he does. I'm surprised he didn't have his tight end on a delay fade there. I would have expected Mason to have a delay fade from the tight end there, but he ended up not doing that. So we got second and 10 here. Ball on the 25-yard line in the Super Bowl. Winner of this game is going to get $100 cash from me. So really excited to lose $100 today. I Obviously, you guys can feel my excitement. But anyway, as you can see right here, um, Mason is going to bunch. Now, he goes to bunch when he wants to throw. Most of the time, from my perspective, what Mason's going to do in bunch, a lot of delay fade, a lot of the popular bunch concepts. So it'll be interesting to see here. He does put his tight end on a route, a little trail route, and everything's pretty much locked up. Everything's pretty much locked up. He's going to have to take it down, and that could have that was very dangerous. I think he tried to throw it away, and Shaq Barrett almost took the ball. That was very, very, very dangerous. I bet you that Mason's playing on conservative, which was what I would do. Um, I think playing on conservative is the best way to play in Madden 21. Primary reason why is because it helps with those quarterback sacks. They don't fumble as much. They still fumble, but they don't fumble as much um, as they do otherwise. Now, here a little screen from Mason, and that's a brilliant, brilliant play call. Third and 15 caught me off guard. Fourth and seven here. This will be interesting. It looks like Mason is going to play conservative and punt. So, RC got the stop he needed. This is where RC has an opportunity to take control of this ball game. If RC goes down, gets seven points, his defense has consistently stood up in the red zone and been very, very effective in the red zone. So this will be very, very interesting to see what RC does. If RC tries to keep forcing the ball down the field, I really hope he doesn't do that because Mason has labbed this. Mason understands what's going to burn him versus what's not going to burn him. Mason's defense is entirely predicated on being able to stop the deep pass and being ready for the deep pass. So I have a feeling that if, if RC tries to bomb him, it's not going to really work out well for him because Mason is ba basically waiting for that. Mason wants you to try to bomb him because he believes that he's got the best defense in the game. Now here he has him over the top. Oh my goodness, as soon as I say that, RC just shocks the world as he hits a cover three bomb. 
Tom. I have no idea why Mason ran cover three on the short side of the field. I have no idea what Mason was thinking. That might have been the worst play call I've ever seen Mason make. And as you can see, RC just straight up torches the defense for a one-play touchdown. Can you believe that the man that runs cover three invert borderline every single play doesn't deep half his corner on the left side of the field against Gun Bunch when the only way to beat cover three from Gun Bunch, especially if your safety's on the strong side of the bunch, is to run that combination right there? Absolutely incredible to me, unprecedented. I believe that was one of Mason's biggest mistakes of this entire season. And as you can see, RC takes advantage of it and goes up 10 to 6. That is huge in this game. That is absolutely huge in this game. All the momentum shifts back to RC. Mason's offense is not set up to go down the field in one play. And this is going to be a huge, huge finish here. We got the ball on the 25-yard line, third quarter, four minutes and 29 seconds left. And all the pressure has, has shifted to the Los Angeles Rams after a huge, 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 huge play from my man, RC. Another strong close HB dive on first down. I think that's five for five. He is called strong close HB dive every single time on first down. If you're Mace, if you're uh, RC, you've got to adjust to the strong close HB dive. And that's going to bring up third down. Ball on the 30 yard line. We got third down and five. And it'll be really interesting to see what my man Mason calls. You've you got to believe RC, depending on Mason's personnel, he's either going to come out in 3-4 or dollar. If Mason comes out with three wide receivers, he's going to come out in dollar. If he comes out with two running backs or whatever, then he's not going to do that. He's going to come out in the in the, in the the uh, 3-4 odds. So comes out in dollar 3 two, 6 Now, if you're Mason, you might I think you might get an inside zone. I really believe you're going to get an inside zone here. Be very interesting to see what Mason calls. We're going with coverage defense from RC. And he's got the tight end corner route, big route for Mason, and he gets the first down. Now, if you're RC, you can breathe. You can breathe a little bit. You don't have to play, like, super, super aggressive. Mason's going to have to press. You see here, he goes to no huddle, which is very interesting for Mason. Not normally something we see him do, but he's going to go to the inside zone. RC's going to have a bagged. That's going to bring up a second nine with the ball on the 43-yard line. You notice here, if you take a look at RC's zone drops, he's playing very, very much so backed off. We got 15 yard zone drops. We got 30 yard zone drops. Very interesting strategy for my man RC in this situation. Now, second and nine, we got the motion over from Trips tight end. It looks like when uh, Mason wants to pass, he's going to primarily operate at a Trips tight end. And got to be careful that right side playing man coverage on that right side. If he knows the J wall glitch, we broke it down on our YouTube channel. He can bomb him over the top there. Caught a corner route, got a slant route. That slant route, might, he might throw it. He's not going to throw it, he's going to throw it away. Good decision by Mason. RC, if you look at what he's doing on defense, actually really good. I think RC is trying to bait Mason into throwing these slants. That's why you're seeing those flats are being set at 10 to 15 yards as opposed to 20 to 25 or 5 yards. He's dropping them at about 15 yards, and they're, they're playing the slant routes, the motion over slant routes, which is really, really, really good. And his lurk in the middle of the field is kind of taking everything away. If I'm Mason, you've got to run some, like, post routes or something. I haven't seen that once from him in the strip side in offense. And this is going to bring up 4th and 12. I mean, this is this is huge. Mason's, Mason's going to trust his defense. I don't know. The momentum in this game shifted like that. That was crazy. Good punt here. Now, RC is in the New England offense. Best offense of the game. If you want to pick it up, exclamation point N-E in the chat. Over 300 pages, over 36 formations, over 10 hours of video content. Might just win the Super Bowl in my own league, and unfortunately, I wouldn't be the one running it. But what you'll see here, Mason needs a drive. This is where, this is where champions are born. Right here. 6 to 10 Ball on the 10-yard line. We got a second of four. We got one minute and 45 seconds to go in the third quarter. We got about seven minutes left in this game. If RC can go down and drive, even if he only gets a field goal, even if he only gets a field goal, if Zeke shakes off tacklers, gets a first down. <clears throat> if he can take the clock, RC will walk away with the Super Bowl championship. This is a huge drive. This is a huge drive in this game. So let's see what happens here. One little, oh, he hits the bubble screen. Mason's not been honoring that bubble screen because one of the things you have to realize about the way Mason plays defense, typically that slot corner or that safety is going to be in a 20 to 25 yard purple zone. What R, what RC has understood is I can pop that. I can pop that bubble screen over and over and over again. I don't like that play call by RC. I'd like to see him take that all the way down to the third quarter before calling that play in that situation. So I'm not necessarily a fan of that, but here we go. We're going to, looks like he probably will cut, Got to bring this into the fourth quarter. 
And put your fours up in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to the fourth. Third down and five. This is the biggest play up to this point in the game. If Mason gets a stop, he has a chance to go down and take the lead. And looks like RC is going to hit Mason with his own little medicine here. Going to go with a little screen pass. And he's going to hit it. And he's going to hit it big. Zeke Elliott in the open field for a gain of 16 yards. Excellent play call. Timed it at the perfect opportunity. And RC literally just hit Mason with his own medicine. And now you're going to see he is going to go back to the 0-1 trap. Ball on the 38-yard line. Five minutes left to go in the game. 0-1 trap for the win. Look at the 0-1 trap. And he's in the open field. Zeke at the 40. Huge play by RC. Huge play. Huge, huge, huge. RC has made big play after big play after big play in this game. You have to give props where props are due. He is making Mason's top-rated defense in this game look like, I mean, it's not even fair right now. Look at this 0-1 trap just destroying the best run defense in Madden 21. 0-1 trap taking this cover three sky and saying you gotta run you gotta find something else be interesting to see what happens with this bubble screen on the left here no hard flat on the outside hopkins in the open field rc and i think honestly rc if we actually look back this is a brilliant drive by the way this drive started at his four yard line if we actually look back at the history of the league which we will do that after this game rc really came on when he got the New England guy. He really did. And I know it sounds crazy. He really did. When he picked up that trips and he started mastering everything you could do from New England. Oh, a run commit by Mason. That should be a touchdown. Oh, my goodness. Second and one. Ball on the 16-yard line. My man, B-Cav, how you doing in the chat? You got to learn zone drops? Shoot me a text. Exclamation point text in the chat. I can answer those questions for you. Uh, second and one, little RPO alert bubble. And right there, I would have liked to see him hit the bubble screen. He had it. I think RC's playing a little conservative now. Now, Mason's going to take advantage of this, okay? R this is a big third down. Again, this is the biggest play of the game at this point. It looks like he's going to go to the screen again. I don't know if this is a great call or not. My Mason might be ready for this. He goes to the screen. He's got it. He's got it wide open. And Zeke fights for it, gets the first down, ball in the 15-yard line. That might be GG's in the chat. That might be GG's in the chat. He needs one first down and this game is over. He needs one first down and this game is over. This has been the best drive of the entire season, honestly. Uh, other than Yashi's almost comeback. Had Yashi ended his NFC Championship meta, meta drive with a uh, two-point conversion, he would have had him. I don't like the decision to pass here. And he gets a pick. Oh my gosh, Mason just picked him off. Oh, I just bragged on RC, and Mason just picked him off. Oh, my goodness. That is huge. That is huge. Is the Patriots ebook still good if you don't have abilities? 100% yes. I would recommend the tight end apprentice, but you can get it done if you don't. If you don't have one, you'll be fine. It's just if you want to do some special stuff, then get a tight end apprentice, which is not that hard to do. All right. So Mason's got a drive. I cannot believe he threw a pick in the red zone. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. Oh, my gosh. Mason rolling out. Sends the spy. Mason's going to throw it away. RC's been – got to admit, RC's defense has played great. I don't know if – I don't think Mason has really ran some of the stuff that, like, you'd feel like Mason know, like, should know what to do. Because Mason's 15-1, and one, like – I feel like, I don't know why we haven't seen any skinny posts. I don't know why we haven't seen any of like any of that yet from the bunch side. Going to go to another screen pass. And I'll tell you what, these screens are tough. What's up, Shedrick? How you doing, man? But man, all right, so third and three. Like, the one thing you got to remember, Mason's got to go get seven. Field goal doesn't cut it here. He's got to go get seven. This is like, the game is 100% on RC's defense right here. Hits an inside zone. Gets the first down. And let's see if he takes a timeout here. Yep. So Mason has two timeouts, a minute 22, ball on his 21-yard line. Only down by four. Honestly, the way RC's offense is played, I'll take this. Like, I don't know. 10 to 6. I just think it's crazy that RC's not playing anybody deep. He has no one deep. This post route might be a touchdown. This post route might be a touchdown. Mason checks it down. Oh, he picked it off. 
Oh my gosh, and that's the game unless he throws it back to him. He just picked it off. Look at this interception. Toe tap on the sideline. Oh my goodness gracious. That was huge. RC fighting through all of the adversity in the last two games. Having to fight through a slow start. Honestly, a slow start in his first game. He was down 14-3, to I believe. And in this game, Mason had complete control of this ball game at the end of the first half. That is crazy. With a huge pick out of the dollar defense. And Zeke reaches for it. Another first down. And we are about to crown a Super Bowl champion here in year one of our CFM League. Niels, GG's in the chat. If you're watching this archive and you want to be a part of our PS4 or our Xbox One CFM, shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. You can, if you're in the chat right now, exclamation point text. RC just won himself $100 cash for the Super Bowl championship. Thanks for watching this game. Hopefully you enjoyed the commentary. If you're on the stream, we'll continue after this and we'll talk about our league awards and some stuff like that. But man, awesome, awesome game to end this thing. And to be quite honest, RC's defense played incredible for him throughout this ball game. So GG's in the chat. Couldn't have gone to a better guy. Of course, my New England Patriots, I have to say this, my New England Patriots ebook won the Super Bowl in my own league, and I didn't run it in my own league. So awesome, awesome, awesome games. Congratulations to RC. Let the celebration begin. The man just won himself $100 cash. I bet he is hyped. Huge, huge ball game. They're going to rush the field. Baker Mayfield taking over the field. Like I said, if you guys want to get in the league, shoot me a text. It's a lot of fun. We're going to probably do some more casting. I actually really enjoyed casting these games. And we'll probably do like a game of the week every week is what I'm kind of thinking going forward. Uh, but really excited about the future of this. The Xbox One CFM will be starting in the first week of January. Our PS4 uh, Fantasy Draft will actually start in the first week of January as well. More than likely uh, what we'll do for the PS4 side of things because we're just doing like a rookie draft. Um, for the incoming class is we'll probably do that uh, now that I'm thinking off the top of my head probably going to do that on January 2nd so we'll, we'll kind of reset make sure we got a good group of people got good rules set up and then we'll roll with year two but thanks for watching this video hopefully you enjoyed it I normally do Madden tips and tricks every single day on my channel we got three more coming today so if you haven't already subscribed be sure to subscribe check out the rest of the tips if you have any questions shoot me a text